Hey guys, so this is just another quick video for the Kickstart Rugby Coaching Series. So in this video, we're going to break down a variation of the 242 system. Okay, so if you haven't watched the previous video on the 242 system, I recommend you do. This variation is going to be looking at a way to counteract uh, line speed that the other team might apply when you're using the 242 system. So one of the reasons that the 242 system um, may invite a lot of line speed on is that obviously when you're playing continuously from your 9 to your 10 and then your 10 to your pod and you're never playing off 9 that is going to mean there's going to be a lot of time where the ball is in the air and when you're defending when the ball is in the air is a fairly risk-free moment to come up as a line come up quite hard because the attackers can't actually do anything while the ball is in the air so something that we can do to make the defenders hold their feet, hesitate a little bit, is we can start to use our extra man from our pod of four as a dummy runner. Okay, so I'm going to show you a quick video example of the Crusaders doing something similar. They're not running exactly the 2 for 2 system, but you'll notice a trend. So you'll see here, two forward runners. And they can give it in behind. Draws in those defenders. Keeps these ones from coming up too hard. And look, we'll see the same again. So when they're playing off 10, there's another phase. They get to the width. It's one of the key parts of these systems, getting to the width. And again, you can see that forward ran, held them. And then they can attack. So it's the exact same principle here. We're going to have our extra man running that dummy line and then we can also talk about some of the little options that the nine can do to make the system work a little bit better and what that spare man then can do as well so look he runs in behind he gives it so you might have noticed in the first clip they actually the 10 received the ball and the forwards were still outside him if we really want to stop that line speed i think it works a little bit better if the forwards are looking like they're going to receive off the nine and the 10 is in behind, okay? Because it's going to allow us to have a little bit more depth and it's going to make them hesitate because they're not going to want to shoot past those forwards. So as he hits the pod, again, like I talked about before in the previous video about the 242 system, our two playmakers, we can have one at each side, they're versatile, um, and then we have our two hunters. So they're just going to drop back. So we'll notice here, our extra man. I have him this time. This is always an option. We've told our players here they need to be quick to snap back. So that's going to hold defenders here. It's going to allow us to um, spread them out, both sides of the pitch, okay? He can come as a short option. And that will allow us to play it in behind to our 10 here and we can attack here and again it's going to hold those defenders this time anyway we go open but that's just an option so we're playing out through the wing We can see here, set up again. And it's the same setup again. So we have our five running the dummy, 12 in behind. He's our playmaker on that side. And then we have our pod and we're here again. So an option here as well is for that nine to scoot or to taxi, and that will draw in defenders there, and then he might be able to hit that five on a short pass. So we've hit our pod, and this is another option then for our five. He's come here, he can offer himself as an inside there, because he's a spare man, essentially. Offer himself as an inside, that's going to again, stick these defenders again, stick these ones. If they're really trying to drift, then we might actually hit him. And... Um, but it's also going to hold that drift if we do have them on the width because they're not going to want to push too hard. And then we attack out.
So it's pretty basic. Um, I wanted to keep these videos short and sweet, so I'm going to leave it at that. If you have any specific questions, make sure to let me know. And if you're looking for some of the finer details of the system and you didn't fully understand what was going on there, make sure to watch the previous video.